Welcome back to another one of these types of videos. So instead of responding to Across the Spider-Verse critiques or criticisms, mainly awful criticisms, instead we're responding to awful criticisms on James Gunn being in charge of DC. And these videos were made before the Flash movie came out. So there's some stuff they say are outdated when I am going to talk about it, but they still say stupid shit, especially the second video. But anyway, let's begin, because I tried making this video before, I just didn't like how it came out, so I decided to remake it all, and I felt like I lost a lot of brain cells just sitting through the second video, so I'm gonna lose more brain cells by watching it again. Oh, fuck me. Kanye West once said in one of his songs, No man should have all that power. I'm not sure if using a Kanye West quote is a good idea, especially with the controversy he's been in. It looks like they're giving it to James Guy. There's rumors that he's not just controlling DC and putting out whatever he wants. He's directing too. I don't want this, people. I do not want him to write the Bible of DC there's no such thing as a Bible for DC. It's a company, not a church. Be over every project and direct. That's way too much for one person. That's called passionate right there. The fact that he, you know, in charge of DC movies, but he's also directing some of the DC films, show James Gunn's very passionate about this new DC universe he's building. Especially with how excited he is about Superman Legacy. We all see what Kevin Foggy is doing to Disney Marvel, and he's running that company to the ground. Phase 4 was a fucking joke. He's been in control for way too long. Hate to break it to you, buddy, but Kevin Foggy has been in control of the MCU since the beginning. He started the MCU, and he might as well end it. But of course, rumor has it he wants it to go even after his death, which I'm sure many are going to assume. I'm just scared about this. There's one thing where he's just controlling the narrative of what DC is putting out. It's another thing to direct. I mean, not really. I, I, I don't like this. I, I, it's like people are forgetting that he did do the last Suicide Squad movie. That's literally the most talked DCU film besides the Snyder ones. And that movie was straight garbage. Feminist garbage. It didn't make sense that Harley Quinn and the Squirrel Girl defeated the Starla creature practically by herself. Did he just call Ratcatcher Squirrel Girl? How could he mistake Ratcatcher for Squirrel Girl? Like, there's literally rats shown in the movie that she's Ratcatcher. Like, it literally fits her name and there's rats to remind you that that's her name. Like, where did you think of it as a squirrel? Did you pay attention to the movie? Clearly he did not because he thinks that it was only Harley and Ratcatcher that defeat Starro when Bloodsport and King Shark and Polka Dot Man before he died were also there to stop Starro. He clearly only paid attention to when the females were on screen because he assumed there was a political agenda. Like, seriously, what feminism is in the Suicide Squad film? The second one, like, tell me. Oh, because Harley killed Starro with the spear and stabbed, her in the, stabbed the Starro in the eye. Fuck off. A creature that can stop the Justice League. The creature of Star-Lord that controls Superman. Okay, valid point. The Justice League had a hard time finding Starro, and so did the Suicide Squad in this film, especially Harley and Ratcatcher. They didn't kill Starro straight away, because they did, then that would make them a Mary Sue. But clearly they didn't. They had a struggle, because they couldn't figure out how to beat him, since he's a ginormous starfish that pretty much controlled everyone on the island, everyone on that island, besides, of course, the team themselves. So what feminism are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I just hope James Gunn don't feminize a lot of properties like he did with Suicide Squad. He didn't. I just pray that James Gunn is not over his head. So far, he really isn't. I just think it's too much for one person. 
right below. Do you think this is too much for one person to be writing the Bible of DC? For the last time, there is no Bible of DC. Like, I'm starting to think this guy is actually being legit about a Bible for DC. To be controlling and showing out property for DC and for him to direct. That's way too much. Way, way, way too much. I'm out. Well, that was a terrible video, but not as bad as the next one. I hate James Gunn. Guardians of Galaxy, okay, but kinda, I love Suicide Squad, but like, he kinda just made it another Guardians of the Galaxy, kind of. Where's the proof to back you up on that? Like, he really can't do anything else. He is not creative. How many James Gunn films have you seen? Because James Gunn can be very creative with his films, especially when it comes to the story. He literally just sucks. It's kind of like this. Say if the Mark Webb, who created The Amazing Spider-Man, just plain up copied Toby's Spider-Man, which was Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, and say he copied the exact same style. Nothing changed. Same thing. If the Tasm films had the same style as the Raimi films, yeah, it'd be similar, but the stories would be different. It has a different story, though, and different villains. It's not an exact copy. Nothing different. And yeah, some things don't need to be different. But the point is, he's uncreative, he's a flippin' jerk. Where's your evidence to prove that James Gunn is a jerk? Because if you say something like that, you're gonna have to show some evidence. Especially if you're making a video about that specific person. And he's destroyed DC in general. How has he ruined DC's brand so far? Like, he barely did anything. All he did was cancel the rest of the DCU projects and starting with a clean slate. I never wanted to see Batgirl. I just wanted to see Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton is my favorite Batman. He deserved much better as an actor because he's been screwed over so many times. I'm pretty sure he wants to be back as Batman, but basically, he's not going to be back as Batman. That age is like piss water. And The Flash, I'm only watching that movie for Michael Keaton. I'm so, like, I have the original Kenner figure. That's how much. Like, I love this man. It's Batman. I have his movies. Same with Toby. Figure, movies, boom. James Gunn is literally ruining the DC name, brand, movies, general, anything. He has ruined the company. How has he ruined DC as a whole? He's hardly touched anything. All he did was pretty much cancel the DCU because it was a broken mess of the universe. He's canceled so many movies, and some, okay, but I'd like to see Man of Steel, too. I don't know. I don't want to see no woke crap, no gay crap, but I would like to see some of these movies. I don't know why, but it cracked me up when he said, no gay crap. I don't know why, it just did. I guess because you don't expect someone his age to say something like that on YouTube. He's canceling left and right. And I like, I want to see Black Adam. Heard it was really good. And this man's probably saying he's going to cancel it, too. I hate. How is he going to cancel Black Adam if it's already been released in theaters? Like, this video was made, like, two months after it came out in theaters. Like, he probably canceled Black Adam, too, because Dwayne The Rock Johnson wanted Black Adam, too. But, you know, that's not going to happen now. What this man is doing, this man sucks. Nothing but a loser. <laughs> Alright, kid. He literally is canceling everything. I'm sorry, but this man ain't creative. He He's a one-hit wonder. He's a one-trick pony. How the fuck is he a one-trick pony? He made Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, 
And then he made Suicide Squad, which is basically the same movie, just with DC characters. If you paid attention to both movies, mainly the Suicide Squad, you can tell that they're nothing alike. Just because they're made by the same person doesn't mean they're an exact copy. Like, I rewatched the Suicide Squad a couple weeks ago, in fact, actually last week, and I can genuinely tell that they're nothing alike. Same with Peacemaker. Okay, did you watch Peacemaker? Because Peacemaker is nothing like Guardians of the Galaxy. He's nothing but a one-trick pony. Lies! He's destroyed the DC. He is ruining everything. And that's another lie from you. And if they keep going the route, if, if he does not get, just, if they do not bring back, like, he canceled Batman Beyond. He's canceling movies people will actually see. You know, possibly he could, you know, remake those projects in his new DCU, so the Static Shock movie could actually still happen, but in his new DC Cinematic Universe and not the DCU. So, yeah. Until Michael Keaton comes back as Batman, I, I think I'm done with DC. I'm done with Marvel, I'm done with DC. Good, we prefer less from you, especially since when you reviewed Across the Spider-Verse, you didn't watch the actual movie. Heck, they're ruining Back to the Future now with an animated so show. I don't know anymore. It's just gonna get worse from here. That's what the Bible says. And what Bible does it say that media is only gonna get worse from here? So, yeah. Sadly, we have this man for 10 years running DC. Maybe some can someone sign a petition? To just get rid of this guy. I guess you haven't heard of the hashtag fire James Gunn because it's run by Snyder Shills. You fit perfectly with them. Bring someone who will give us what we really want. Not this gay bull crap and woke crap. What woke crap has James Gunn given us so far? Let me tell you, nothing. I want some natural, heck, Christian, whatever. I want some natural good superhero movies. And we're still getting those comic book movies this very day, with some shit ones still lying around, but we still got good ones, like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Across the Spider-Verse, the upcoming Blue Beetle and TMNT film, heck, even Shazam Theory of the Gods. I want a Sam Raimi Spider-Man again. I want a Michael Keane Batman again. I want the old Superman back. I hate to break it to you, kid, but Christopher Reeves died a long time ago. He's not coming back. Besides that disrespectful CGI cameo the Flash movie gave him. I want those old versions of those characters back. Well, this video came out a year after No Way Home, and the Flash movie hasn't hit theaters yet, so what are you talking about? This man doesn't know ex anything of what he's doing. Okay, kid, yeah, sure. He knows exactly what he's ruining, but he doesn't have a clue what he's doing. So, he knows what he's ruining, but he doesn't have a clue of what he's doing? How does that work? Like, uh, wouldn't you believe that, oh, what he's doing is that he's ruining DC? Because that's what you seem to believe. He deserves to be fired for just being an idiot. Anyway, guys. Anyways, that video was atrocious and even worse than the last one. And we're not done with these two yet. Because the kid... Uh, does not know what woke is, and neither does the other guy. So, yeah, more videos with them. Hooray.